Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Thursday weather update recorded on June the 13th. We've got this large area of low pressure and it is starting to move in. Today's wind and air pressure map shows this large dark shaded area, that is the low moving through, and the centre is about the same length as the country, 1,600 kilometres long. So that is a lot of low pressure and it engulfs the country as we move through into Friday. This is how we are looking at midnight tonight and into the early hours of Friday morning. This big area of low pressure, I said it was 1,600 kilometres long. It's even longer as we go into tonight. It's longer than New Zealand. About 2,000 kilometres is the size of the centre of that low. So that stretches all the energy out and it pushes away some of that severe weather that we thought at the start of the week could be coming in by this time. But what I want to show you here is at midnight tonight, that's where the low is. Watch the next uh, 48 hours as it spins out and gets pushed back out to sea there. And so as we get to midnight Saturday, going into the early hours of Sunday morning, the low is now offshore out here in the Tasman area. Here is the precipitation forecast for Saturday, and you can see we've got some areas of heavy rain, especially up here in the northwestern corner of the South Island. You've got over 100 millimetres coming through for that area at this stage. And I will keep saying at this stage, because with the big moving parts, highs and lows all around the system, uh, we are going to be seeing some of this rainfall move around a bit. Just to point out the other day, some of the heaviest rain we thought would be in the lower South Island, but because the centre of that low is stretched out, it's pushed that heavy rain just south of the country. So here is Friday lunchtime. As I say, this is all low pressure center. So that means instability, some dry spells, some drizzly spells, but also some heavy rain that could set in and break your rainfall forecast. It could go above and beyond. That's what happens with these sorts of setups. On Saturdays, we mentioned before, it gets pushed back out to sea and so it ends up being in the uh, Tasman Sea area. This is the low pressure zone here that was over the top of New Zealand on Friday. So it kind of pushes out to sea and then that pushes the severe weather, this, this zone here, further away from land. So it's quite easy to see why four or five days ago it looked as though a whole lot of wind and rain was going to come into the lower South Island. That's it just there. But because the centre has pushed out it spread out that weather. And so Australia now in the firing line for the wintry stuff. And we, for the most part, have slightly milder airflows. Saturday sees a westerly, colder airflows down here in the South Island, a little bit of snow up in the mountains. Now on to Sunday, subtropical winds from New Caledonia are coming down over the North Island. Overnight temperatures are going to be well above average right across New Zealand for about four or five days, maybe longer, maybe a week as this uh, subtropical wet, uh, weather comes down or windy cloudy weather coming through. So yes, there is cold wintry air caught up in this. You can see the blue lines. That means that uh, the colder weather is taking a bite right out of the atmosphere. It's not just at surface level. And so there will be some snow on the mountains, but the overnight temperatures are still going to be above average. Now next week, the low splits apart, we think and it should spread the energy further out. So some of the low uh, pressure out here pushes out to the east. You can see dry spells, lighter falls, heavy falls. It's all part of that mixture and colder weather still to the lower part of New Zealand, but it doesn't look terribly uh, problematic. Into Tuesday of next week, the high that is stopping this low from actually becoming a really big storm cuts it off here, cuts the southerly feed off. So the, the low starts to weaken. Uh, now that also produces a wet, colder easterly coming into Canterbury, good for some of the ski fields. Um, but because of the changeable nature of all the different air pressure systems on here, it only takes that high to be a, bit, a little bit further to the west or to get a little bit bigger, and it changes everything going on around the South Island. So wind forecasters say, we're uncertain of something, that's not a sign of us being bad at our jobs. In fact, I think the better forecasters admit when it's looking messy, because you're better off to be confident about it being changeable than being confidently wrong with a set forecast. So that is our thinking. It is a, it is a mess. That was the word of the day yesterday, messy. Um, we'll have more details tomorrow, but please do keep up to date with our websites, because the data on there, the data, however you want to say it, the forecasts, update every single hour and it crunches all of these computer models, not just these ones that we show you, but all the various ones around the world to make sense of the mess that is uh, the forecast at the moment. That's all from me. We'll see you a bit later on.